Today, the Michigan Supreme Court heard arguments as they review the case of Ted Wafer. You'll recall Wafer shot and killed Renisha McBride as she banged on his door back in 2013. His attorneys are working to have one of the charges of which he was convicted thrown out. Jason Coltharp live in the newsroom. He is, though, Jason serving 17 years in prison. A sentence, Devin, that could be reduced if the Michigan Supreme Court finds in his favor here. When Ted Wafer was convicted of both second degree murder and statutory manslaughter, it shouldn't have been considered together to sentence him. I think what we as attorneys sometimes struggle to do is we know something's unfair and we struggle to find the right constitutional framework for it. I don't think there's any practical um, difference to whether we call it due process or double jeopardy. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office argued the charges are distinct and fully reflect what Wafer did that night. Mr. Wafer initially told police twice that he did not know the gun was loaded and that it went off or just did so accidentally. Due to this evidence, the people charged Mr. Wafer with the crimes of second degree murder and statutory manslaughter. It's undisputed that these crimes are composed of distinct legal elements. And thus, under People versus Reem, these are separate crimes, and it's presumed that Mr. Wafer may be properly charged, convicted, and punished for both. Accordingly, Mr. Wafer's dual convictions do not offend double jeopardy or due process principles, and the application cannot be granted. That proceeding, by the way, lasted about 25 minutes. The Supreme Court's decision we expect to come down sometime next month. Yeah. Deb? All right, Jason, we'll see you at 530.